<clears throat> and so the Yankee season ended last night in a fucked up way. What are you going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I guess I'll rant about it. I'll talk about it. Now at the top of this disaster is Brian Cashman. Now I consider him like uh, Jarrell from the you know Superman the movie because you got like the Kryptonian Council, and then they you know they pronounce judgment guilty whatever, and, you know they give suggestions, but then ultimately the decision to ban uh, Zod, Don, and Ursa to the Phantom Zone falls on Jarrell, so he's like the top guy. Brian Cashman is like Jarrell, only. Jarrell's not an idiot. He could see things going wrong and try to do something about it. The Kryptonian Council were the idiots because they didn't believe him. In this case, you know, Cashman's Jarrell, but he's an idiot. He failed to address the pitching again. Now, a lot of people say, who are they going to get? Well, I remember Zach Greinke being available. Zach Greinke being available. He went on the Astros. The team that's right now going to be playing in the World Series in a few days. They could have had Justin Verlander two years ago. Didn't get him. Houston got him. Oh, they went to the World Series two years ago. And the Yankees could have won that World Series. That Dodger team was afraid of its own shadow. They lost the deciding Game 7 in their own building. And then they lost Game 5 in their own building a year later. So they saw two teams celebrating on their home field. One of them could have been the Yankees if they'd gone out and acquired the pitching. Now Sanchez was swinging at every stupid pitch you could imagine down on the, I mean, what is he, he looked like he's golfing, which he'll have plenty of time to do now. But you, you golf in the off season, which is here now. You don't golf with a baseball bat. What do you, was there an anthill down there that was, what the hell? Stanton is just soft, buy him out, get rid of him. Do what you have to do to get rid of him. He's not going to play. He's going to he's going to be hurt. He's soft. He's physically and mentally soft. It happens. He should be back on the Marlins. There's no expectations there. They're going to lose their 100 games. They're going to suck. He can go back to Miami and be the whiffer. But I have no use for the whiffer in the Bronx. Now, you got Chapman, the closer. The guy the Yankees sent to the Cubs in 2016. Then he came back in 2017. Now, Chapman gave up a walk-off two-run homer in the bottom of the ninth after LeMahieu hit that amazing two-run homer in the top of the ninth. So thanks to Chapman, that two-run homer was wasted. It's not going to be a great moment. It's barely going to be remembered. It's going to be a, like a footnote because Chapman turns around and gives up the winning home run. But what do you expect from a closer that almost blew the 2016 World Series for the Cubs? He coughed out the late lead. So maybe it's time to find another closer. Bring up a prospect, someone from the minor leagues, because Chapman's not the answer. He almost blew a World Series. And last night, he blew a game. Now, you know, all during the series, the Yankees had undisciplined hitting, mediocre pitching. Hap, I'm looking at you. Tanaka, what happened in game four? You were so great in game one. But then you come around in game four. <laughs> but I think... The momentum swung, and some people say momentum is nonsense. The bottom of the 11th home run. One pitch. You know, the Yankees could have been up 2-0. Might have been a whole different story. Or might not have been. Who knows? But I know that Hap threw the pitch. I don't like Hap. He can't come back. Larry Rothschild, pitching coach, cannot come back. I don't want Cashman back. I mean, this guy will not fix the pitching. It's been a problem for years. And now with CC retiring, and he should have retired three or four years ago in the first place, they should have got rid of his ass right after he went into alcohol rehab the day of that playoff, that playing game years ago versus the Astros, who have now knocked the Yankees out of the playoffs three times. And I give Houston credit. They hit when they had to hit. They pitched well. Their general manager went out and got pitching. They did their jobs. Well... 
I'm not going to make excuses for the Yankees. They didn't do their job. They screwed up. They didn't hit. They didn't pitch. They didn't field. They, they made errors. They blew it. They were boneheads. Houston did its job. Maybe not all the time, but they did it when it really counted. And now they're playing in the World Series. First the Nationals. So I'm a Nationals fan for the next week. I'm not jumping over to the Nationals. I'm just a fan for the next week, or however long the World Series goes. But I still love my Yankees, and next year I'll be back in 2020, ready for another six months of aggravation, hopefully ending in a championship. But if you don't fix the pitching, Cashman, and if you don't get rid of these soft Californians, it's not going to happen. And this is the first decade since the 1910s that the Yankees didn't make a World Series. Cashman presided over that. <clears throat> what is he, the general manager, president of baseball operations? I don't know what his title is. I'll tell you what his title is. Fuck up. Fuck up that didn't fix, fix the pitching. That did nothing about it. Didn't want to give up prospects. You got to give up some of them. You bring some of them up. Some of them you trade for other players. That's what they're down there for. To come up or to make deals. Houston parted with some prospects. They got Zach Greinke. Ho ho, they're in the World Series for the second time in three years. So maybe part with a prospect or two. Not all of them. Don't mortgage the future. But some of them, you got to make trades. You got to improve the pitching. Otherwise, if you do the same thing like you just did last year and don't, or this past season that just went by and you don't fix the pitching, it's going to be the same thing again. They're going to win the division, get in the playoffs, and they won't win because you won't fix the pitching. And you have mentally soft Californians in here. And Brett Gartner said some of us may never get over this loss. You have to get over this loss. If you don't, you're never going to win. I'm trying to get over it. It sucks, but I wasn't out on the field. You have to get over this. you got to go, okay, fucked up. We blew it. We swung at stupid pitches. Our general manager is a jerk off. You won't get new pitching. Fine, whatever. Now get back out there and win the fucking World Series in 2020. And that all starts at the top with Cashman, the jor of the whole thing. You got to get pitching. Now, I, I think the chances of you watching this are, you know, you got the same. It's about as likely as seeing me wearing a Mets hat. I own over 100 hats. None of them are Mets hat. No Mets hats. No Mets, no Red Sox, no Patriots, no Lakers, no Giants, no A's. Just to name a few. Fix the pitching. Do something. Stop sitting around with your head up your ass at the trade deadline. Well, there goes another trade. To, hey, look at that. Houston made a trade. Wow. I wonder what that's going to do for him. And put him in the World Series. That's what it did for him. That's what could happen for the Yankees. It's up to you, Cashman. Are you going to fix this mess? Or are you just going to continue to have your head up your ass like it's been for years now with the pitching? And do something about Stanton. Buy him out. Release him. Eat the money. Who cares? The Yankees got money. They got money. Spend. Now, I know they spend. They're not spending wisely. Houston apparently is spending wisely. So spend wisely. Fix this team. I'd like to see another championship. I don't want to be... I'm not going to be one of those ones. We got 27 rings. We got 27 rings. Big deal. 20 of them were before I was born. So, you know... That's the past. That's nice. That's nice. 27 rings. That's nice. It has a nice ring to it. Rings, ring, get it? Number 28 would be nice. And 29 and 30. Keep getting more. You know? Now, I know it's hard to build a dominant team that can win every year in the World Series. That's hard to do in, in these, you know, more levels of playoffs. But it happened. I saw the 